Are requests okay? How do I cool down the room if I can't open the window? Can't have any windows open because hay fever season is making my asthma pretty bad. Problem is that this room is heating up like a greenhouse. In the UK so no air conditioning. I'm keeping blinds closed during the day, I have a small fan to try and circulate air and I have a wheat bag like a hot water bottle with grains instead of liquid that I take out of the freezer and sleep with at night. Does anyone have any extra tips for me to try? You can buy a reflective film to put on your window. Depending on how big the window is will make this more or less effective. I've reduced room temps by 10 degrees Fahrenheit if you can, shade the wall window getting the most sun exposure. Use a canopy or pop-up tent or install an awning. Cover as much as you can. Put some ice in a bowl right in front of the fan to chill the air. Imagine it's very very cold outside and you have the heating on. Can you put a reflective material against the window? Reflectix or aluminium foil? And then insulate with something like polystyrene or a thick blanket? Edit Google, YouTube and Instructables are full of DIY air conditioner projects. Freeze some water in a few Ziploc bags, put them on the inside of your wrists on your pulse points, have enough bags to keep rotating them in the freezer. Put couple plastic bottles 3-4 way full of water in freezer. When water is frozen put bottle in front of fan rotate when thawed. If I was you and it was this bad, I'd be thinking about going somewhere else during the day, a public library maybe. The suggestions below are good but if your top floor and the place isn't well insulated, it's going to be a struggle. You can get window filters as others have said I'd probably get one of those and a window box fan, and at night when I get home use it to cycle the air from the day, then shut the window before leaving in the a.m. You should see the NHS for allergies and asthma this isn't something to just let go, as you get older this will get harder. Op hasn't responded to anything, I think they melted guys. Buy a ceiling fan, put a fan facing outside your room so the hot air can go out instead of circulate in your room, make a homemade air conditioner with a water pump, a window fan and cooling pipes with ice bucket YouTube has video how to make it, put ice bottles in front and back of fans and don't have any source of energy connected to outlet or have lights on and dress light. Drink cold water. And buy solar reflection window blind. In the UK so no air conditioning. I get that you have allergies dude but you have to open a window somehow, what you're describing sounds ridiculously unsafe. They sell filters you can put over the window for dust and pollen. Get an air purifier for your room. Large open tray of water with a fan blowing over it. Put some damp clothes over a drying rack. They should cool it down a little bit. Maybe put your feet in a big bowl of cold water. Helped me during pregnancy. Get antihistamines and open the window. Buy a fan you can transfer all over the room, like a tower fan. Works for me. You can get an air conditioning fan on Amazon for about $25. You wet and freeze the filter and put water in the reservoir. It will cool down a room pretty well. I use one per room that I want cooled. You can buy a mini portable AC on Amazon for under $50. They cool using water and there's no exhaust to worry about. I have one and it works great on super hot days. Fill a bucket with ice and attach a fan to the top of the bucket to pull out cold air. Poor man's AC. Wet your clothes. Put a block of ice in front of the fan. Wear a mask and open the window for a little while. Buy an AC turn it on. Life hack accomplished. Get a heat pump installed and be done with it. Or, take your asthma meds so you can open your window. Might be one of those tough it out scenarios. Move. There's no air conditioning in the UK. Mind is blown, mind blown, brain, why not? I'd kiff they call them something different in the UK but what you definitely want is a swamp cooler. Put on a wet t-shirt and dampen the sheet at night. As the water evaporates it will cool you down. 
You can even have a couple of damp sheets folded in plastic grocery bags to switch out. Works best with humidity. Honestly AC is the best bet, preferably a window unit not portable. Fans, freezing ice etc are just band-aids the will key of help but in the long run the energy used to run the fans and make the ice will heat the place up more. Fans. Okay, now I have a question. Is there no AC in the UK? Like, you cannot buy a unit? This is how I read this post. This is a short term fix to make you feel cooler, rather than the room fill the tub with six ish inches of water. Then just stand in it for about a minute. It will bring down your temperature. I lived in Georgia without AC and did this to help me not get overheated. You can also take a spray bottle to bed and spray mist above you into the room. The circulating fan will cause that to evaporate and chill you. Best of luck. You can get gel ice packs that cover most of your back, which would probably cool you down nicely. There are also foam pillows with cooling pads. In addition to other comments, op, reduce anything that creates heat. Unplug your electronics and the charging blocks when not in use. Unplug appliances, etc. If your lights generate heat, swap the bulbs out, form those that don't, and or keep them off. Put refrigerated water in a spray bottle and mist your face, body, etc. as needed, helps to have a fan blowing on you too. They have window curtains that block out heat coming from the window. Also, cooling blankets. And try pumping heat out of the room instead of circulating it. Not actually a cooler room but more of a cool yourself more useful during daytime if you can get a spray bottle with water, spraying water over yourself and letting the spray drop could make quite a difference, especially with a fan. If you have access, you can buy foam board from a Home Depot like store. Putting foam up will cut the window heat to almost nothing. And light still comes through. If a window is taking direct sunlight, it's basically an oven in your room. My favorite trick for sleeping when it's hot like that is to get a sheet wet and wrung out and use it as a blanket. Turn on a fan for air movement and let the evaporation keep you comfy. By the time you're maybe a bit chilled the sheet is dry and you stay comfy. Box fan with a wet towel draped over it will circulate cool air. Fans and cool towels. Not super helpful, but cold socks from the freezer and wet hair help me a bit. I put a box fan with a huge HEPA filter cartridge in the window. Works great. I would buy box fans and the box fan HEPA filters, and install those in the windows, ensuring a good seal around the fan and filter. One fan drawing in filtered air, one fan drawing out air, and another fan for motion cooling somewhere in the middle, also with a filter installed. How is there no air conditioning in the UK? Is it just not as common in old buildings or is it totally unavailable in the UK? Cause you can buy a window AC unit for like $100 in the US. Blackout curtains, fan on, humidifier I live in a desert I swear my room was a whole different atmosphere than the rest of the house. You could feel the temperature change when you walked in. Fill a whole water bottle. Put in the freezer till solid. Enjoy. Fill your bathtub with 5-6 inches of water. Periodically strip down and go lay in it. It will cool your whole body including your head hair. The water will be cooler than the air temp so just leave it. I know you have a bathtub because British. Good idea to have the blinds closed during the day. I like to put my pillows in the freezer so they are nice and cold when I want to use them. It also helps to put a small bowl of ice in front of you fan. Also, running your wrists under cold water is really effective because odd how close the veins are to the surface. Box fan with a filter duct taped to it makes a lovely air filters. I've found that sleeping on one of the cooling mats that's designed for pet use is good at night. It sounds a bit weird I know, but it works for me. I also recently bought a cooling blanket from Amazon. I'm not sure how it works but I have found that to be useful as well.